some of our trucks couldn't reach the, the flagpoles to do the work, to change all the fixture and all the hardware for the flagpoles. The big advantage to the Phoenix is an incredible amount of reach. And, and what I mean is they didn't have to set up on the stairs close to the pallets. They could set up further back where um, they didn't they weren't in risk of damaging like, the stairs and whatnot. And they could still reach the flight post towards the center of the building. Our normal average bucket truck height is like about 65 feet to 70 to 73 feet. And then these units, their working height is probably like 180 feet for the Phoenix. And I think the average truck will be like 35 to 40 feet. The Phoenix can go almost to 90 feet of side reach at height. So the big advantage is you can set up in a very tight situation for, uh, for the size unit it is. You know, like every, everything gets bigger, you need more room, you, need, you have more footprint. Uh, you're gonna need more space for setup and for swing of the boom. These booms set up really tight and they're, they're able to get into tight spots. They're big trucks, so the weight limitation is huge. This unit is not made to go in like dirt or gravel or off-roading. It's main, mainly for prepared roads. You know, the setup is very limited because um, of the weight, of course. The spread or the outrigger spread is, is large. I think this one is at 20, 24 feet from edge to edge. But they have the capability to uh, what they call short jack. So you can leave one set of outriggers in and extend the other side and then that's the side you can work off of. So that's a big advantage. We got these trucks initially to help with the rail project, to reach our line over the rail or under the rail. But because of their versatility, we can use it for other jobs, like transmission lines, because of their height. You know, so it's, they're very versatile, but they're just limited because of their size.